Across town on an industrial estate, you will find Harrow, the UK. Rather bizarrely, it grew out of the fishing industry. Ron Harrow, the son of a scrap dealer, used to buy old nets from fishermen and sell them to gardeners. That was 60 years ago. Today, it's run by his children, and now it's a big international business. If you've ever watched a football match, you'll have seen one of their nets. The ladies over here are joining the nets, and these are football nets that they're working on here. We supply everyone from um, Wembley, Chelsea, Man United, all of the top oh. clubs. This man knows a thing or two about Lowestoft's past. Like many here, he comes from a family of fisher folk. 20 years ago, he was made redundant from the fishing industry. But he's not weeping about it. He says the success of Harrod UK is a sign of hope for the town. I came to Harrods in 1996, just as they were doing um, Euro 96 football tournaments. Good morning, Harrods. Was not sure about this speaking. How may I help you? This is like Harrods UK that are pushing really hard to go forward, striving really hard, represent themselves on a global stage. And that's £145. And not everybody sees that that still happens in Lowestoft. So, you know, places like this are, you know, they are certainly my future, my colleagues' future. Maybe more people shouting about what we have got as opposed to reminiscing on what we don't have anymore would certainly help. A more positive approach would uh, certainly be good. <laughs> There's something that everyone in Lowestoft agrees on. It's difficult to be positive when it's so hard to get here and even harder to get around once you've arrived. It's the most easterly point in the country as well. And, you know, once you get here, that's it. Um, there's nowhere else to go. We've seen lots of industries close over the years and there's been very little new investment. And I'm sure it's as a result of roads just to get here are so poor. And then getting around the town as well is not good either. Well, the bridge is the problem, isn't it? Yes, the bridge is absolutely hopeless, goes off several times a day. I think the long-term future has to be to sort the infrastructure out.